What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction. In this we have India's hypersonic breakthrough defense dynamics. Before we dive into this video, if you guys happen to enjoy it, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Uh, and if you would like to support this channel by becoming a member, all you gotta do is hit that join button. Now let's look at India's breakthrough. India becomes the fifth nation in the world to carry out testing of active cooled hypersonic combustion engine. Now it's a game changer technology. It changes the whole perspective when it comes to missiles. So I'll try to explain to you in context to time, distance and speed with the help of video wall right behind me and the map. And to take assistance, uh, we uh, take United States and China as a case in point. Now, the distance between America, that mm -hmm. is uh, New York, say, and Beijing would be around 12,000 okay. kilometers. Now, 12,000 kilometers, hypersonic missile will take anywhere up to 19 minutes, maybe, say, to 20, 25 minutes, depending on the speed. The speed of a hypersonic missile ranges from 5 Mark to 8 and even up to 24 Mark. So I appreciate that he broke it down like this because when we talk hypersonic, I know very, 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 very fast, but I don't exactly know how fast. But we are talking about from the US to China, 12,000 kilometers, a hypersonic missile makes that in 19 minutes is crazy. That is ridiculously fast. My 19 minutes from the U. It can take up to 19 minutes, flat 19 minutes. But when we compare the speed to that of a Boeing airline, say it has taken off from New York and lands at Beijing, it will take up to 17 hours. So 17 That's hours crazy. of flying time is condensed to just flat 19 minutes. That is why this technology is a game changer technology and India has mastered the scramjet combustion engine which means that India is in top 5 countries in the race. Mm -hmm. Now to understand why this very latest ground test of 120 seconds is so important. Do note that during this ground run the technologies mastered have been to do with endothermic fuel and thermal barrier coating. Let's first understand what are the dynamic forces that affect a hypersonic missile at those very high speeds of over 5 mark? And how the mastery over these two critical technologies have been overcome? A major Philip II India's pursuit of true blue hypersonic missiles the Defense Research and Development Organization has successfully carried out a cutting-edge active-cooled scramjet combustion engine ground test for a duration of 120 seconds for the first time. The indigenous development of endothermic scramjet fuel, God a first in India dang. jointly developed by DRDO and the industry, is central to this breakthrough. It should be noted that when an hypersonic missile travels below 30 km of ceiling, at speeds more than sound, it generates a lot of heat on its surfaces ranging from 1400 degrees centigrade to up to 2000 degrees centigrade. Now I think what impresses me so much is like seeing India, bro. Like India rise like um, in defense weapons, in economy, in infrastructure, and so much like they are rising rapidly and it's, it's absolutely incredible. And they're in that room with China, Russia, and the US when it comes to so many different categories. And this just goes to show you like they're in that room once again. Um, the fact, and to be honest, when we're looking at India, they probably figured out how to do the hypersonic missile with less money than, than the US, China, and Russia. Uh, they're, they're incredible. They're incredibly resourceful innovative and that's what i really love about india and i india is rising very quickly um and their influence is growing around the world very quickly um they're absolutely i would say today they're a major player on the world stage and becoming even more big and more influential this is the endothermic scramjet fuel that carries out a dual role first is to provide thrust to the missile to achieve higher mark speeds and second is to keep the temperatures low of the missile bearable by other avionics on board this missile. 
India has also developed a new advanced ceramic thermal barrier coating having high thermal resistance and capable of operating beyond the melting point of steel. As these temperatures range from 1400 to 2000 degrees centigrade, they are these thermal barrier coating ceramic tiles that prevent this heat from damaging the missile itself. That means these technological breakthroughs will eventually pave way for India having hypersonic cruise missiles that can have speeds greater than Mark 5, which moves at 5 times the speed of sound or more than 5400 km per hour. If you recall, India had recently carried out a hypersonic glider test. Yeah. It is basically a missile carries this glider at very high speeds and releases it up in the trajectory whereby this hypersonic glider glides by its own to the target. It does not have any kind of rocket motor. Contrary to this, the hypersonic cruise missile has an end-to-end -end engine that generates a speed more than Mark 5. Both these tests are a huge success for the country as India has both of these. I just, I just goes to show you more and more. Hey, don't don't mess around with India. Don't think it's gonna be sweet trying trying to mess with India. Uh, nah, they're prepared, and they're getting stronger and stronger by the day. So I know they they're a nation between two enemies, with Pakistan on one side, with China on the other side. But I'm telling you, hey. Yeah, yeah, watch it, y'all missing with it, bro. So what are the five takeaways from this story? Mm. India's successful test of a scramjet engine in 2023 marked a significant milestone in aerospace technology. Here are five takeaways. Mm. First, advancement in hypersonic technology. The test has showcased that India's growing capabilities in developing hypersonic technology, which involves speeds greater than Mark V. Scramjet engines are essential for these speeds as they allow air breathing engines to operate efficiently at hypersonic speeds. Strategic importance is the second takeaway. This achievement enhances India's position in global aerospace and defense technology. Scramjet engines can be used for a variety of applications including advanced missiles, spacecraft and making an important development for both military and civilian space exploration. Takeaway 3 is the improved efficiency. Unlike traditional rocket engines, scramjets use atmospheric oxygen to ignite fuel, making them more fuel efficient for certain types of missions. This could lower cost and increase performance in future space launches as well. The fourth takeaway is the indigenous development. The successful test, which was carried out by India's own effort, demonstrates its self-reliance in space and defense technologies. This aligns with countries' broader goal of reducing dependence on foreign technologies in critical sectors. And Thanks. finally, the fifth takeaway is the future prospects. The success paves way for future innovations, including development of reusable space planes and long-range missiles. It also accelerates the pace at which India can make strides in global space missions and technology collaborations. This achievement puts India on competitive path along with global leaders in scramjet and hypersonic technologies. Um, I'm telling you, yeah, I think I think India definitely is already up there with the global leaders in so many categories. And like I said, India is only continuing to rise. Um, they're continuing to get the same kind of weapons and development and infrastructure as a lot of these top superpowers in the world. Their economy is continuing to grow. Um, Narendra Modi and the government that he has in place is continuing to take them on the right path. But yeah, as far as India's defense, I just watch videos and I see they're getting stronger and stronger every single day. As India pours more money in, they're able to get each um, section of their defense stronger. And yeah, uh, like I said earlier, China, Pakistan, both sides, they don't want no smoke with India right now. India. India doing their thing. But y'all let me know what y'all think of the video. Uh, what you guys think of India's hypersonic breakthrough. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and check out the next one. I'll see y'all next time.